Like I grew up in that time when, like I was born in 1990, so Eminem, when Eminem like really started to on, on the come up, right? Mm. And so when he released his first, most people obviously know him from wherever, but in 96 or 95 or 96, he released Infinite. Mm. If anyone's ever listened to Infinite, which is like the first proper album or mixtape that he made, right? Mm. And you listen to him then. Before the Slim Shady LP, there was a Slim Shady EP, which mm. was one before it. Mm. Marshall Mathers, like, and then he started to go a bit whatever. Mm. But it was like so raw and storytelling again, like mm. that Eminem in like the late 90s, early 2000s. Mm. And when he did tracks like Stan and stuff, it was something about the way they would tell stories. And mm. it's why I've always, man, I've loved hip hop my whole life mm. because it was, I would and I would gravitate to those guys that would tell stories mm. and there was something about it and it, it really like it had a major influence on my life mm. Tupac especially had mm. a major influence mm. on my life it's, which is crazy yeah. like some white kid that grew up in O'Connor mm. right well, some white kid that grew yeah. up in O'Connor mm. like who was so heavily influenced by by Puck is like crazy but I think that's when I started to realize this like I started to see because it was so raw I would see this line between like storytelling and being passionate and being considerate and giving and caring mm. and just like, fuck you, mm. yeah. <laughs> you know, this because like flip kind of side of it. Though. Yeah. And it was, man, and I would watch him and like he, he had a major influence on my life as an identity, not just for his music. Mm. Like I would watch the way there's those videos of him like spitting on the cameras outside of court and stuff. It was like, he was him mm. in like the rawest and purest form. Mm. Yeah. And there was something like that which stuck with me my whole life. Mm.